I am now talking to uh, Raghu Panikar, who's a CEO of Keynes Semicon. Uh, Keynes is one of the, 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 the companies that have been uh, awarded um, uh, investment uh, incentives, but uh, also have been in implementing uh, facilities for semiconductor manufacturing in India. Uh, others are uh, com companies like Micron, uh, Renesas, uh, Tata, and you know, Keynes is one of those. So, Raghu, hello. Hi, Nathan. How are you? I'm good. Raghu, we're talking here on the sidelines of the um, Semicon India uh, uh, 2024 conference, which I think has some great fanfare. Um, we had the Prime Minister and the, the, the State Minister here uh, do the inauguration. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your perspective on this, because I think you've been working on this for quite a while. Yes, Nathan. So, um, as I was talking to you, um, you know, uh, it, it is very coincidental in a sense that last semicon in Gujarat around the same time August September uh, you know when we put our uh, project plan uh, to Ministry of IT um, you know my uh, chairman and MD asked me uh, Raghu when do you think this will get approved and I very jokingly told them possibly in the next semicon 2024 you would see our name flashing up there rightfully so uh, it did happen uh, we would have liked it to happen a little bit more earlier, but then as they say, you know, you are, it has to happen when it is destined. So, you know, we got that approved. And that's a huge thing for us in India and for the ecosystem. Like you mentioned about Micron, Tata, Renaissance and us. So we are the, we are the fourth or the fifth one, mm. in a sense, if, you, if Micron is more for captive for them. So, you know, these are the projects that are approved for India. Okay, tell me about some of the, the investments you've been making and the facilities and what, what they're specifically uh, focused on. So, um, uh, Nathan, as you would see, um, you know, Keynes has been growing in the last uh, three to four years and rightfully so in the last one year. Um, uh, hopefully we are doing something good, hence the stock prices are just rising. Uh, but having said that, uh, um, you know, last year we clocked close to $250 million. Um, uh, this year, the coming, the current year, we are going to double our revenues, almost double our revenues. That's revenue on what? Revenue. For, uh, oh, uh, generally for Keynes Semicon? Keynes, Keynes EMS. Oh, EMS, EMS. Manufacturing Services. Yes, okay. yes. And that's where, you know, we are investing in plants and infrastructure. Um, you know, we are almost doubling our infrastructure there as well. Uh, there is a new plant coming up in Mysore, unit number four, close to 17 acre. Uh, that's where we will do the servers for CDAC. Uh, we recently inaugurated. A so, so CDAC is the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, Advanced computing in India. Advanced Computing, yes. And you know, they're, they're developing some high performance computing. Absolutely. You're developing the server chips for them? No, we are, we are manufacturing oh, the manufacturing. servers okay. for them. Uh, we recently uh, you know, inaugurated a new facility in Hyderabad. Uh, that facility is going to do a lot of electronics. Uh, it's, a, it's a 47 acre facility. 25% of has been inaugurated. Uh, we are going to do a whole lot of smart meters, India smart meter. Okay. And with that growth over there, we will very soon get into a 30% bracket of doing smart meters, electric smart meters. Is in that India. the full meters or is that the modules? That full, meter, okay. full meter. Right. Okay. You know, the PCBA, Include, including the PCBs. PCBA, okay. box build. Uh, electronics, mechanical, plastic, everything. Right. Uh, in the same plant, we will also do the AR, VR glasses okay. through our collaboration with a company called DigiLens in US. Okay, yes. Then uh, we also inaugurated a factory this year in Pune that was primarily for Tata Motors. Okay. Uh, we are now due to putting a plant in Jammu we are making a huge... That's in the north of India. North of okay, India. Right. We are making a huge investment in Madhya Pradesh, close to 500 crores. Uh, that in, in dollars? Um, should be somewhere around 40 million, 40 okay. to 45 million. Okay. Uh, that again is for EMS. Um, um, you know, I spoke about Hyderabad, I spoke about Pune, I spoke about Jammu, I spoke about uh, Madhya Pradesh. And lastly, uh, not, but lastly, but two other investments that we are talking about. Uh, one is uh, a bare board PCB, which again, you know, there is not much talk about. Uh, Keynes Circuits, which is a subsidiary of Keynes Technology. 
okay. recently got approved by MITE under the SPECS scheme. MITE is the Ministry, for Ministry of IT. Uh, Electronics and Information Technology. Information Technology. Okay. Uh, they have a program called uh, SPECS, which is for components, and they approved us to put a bare boat PCB plant. Okay. In the next couple of days, you will hear from us where we are putting um, the, the bare boat PCB plant. And that itself is uh, 1,400 crores investment, okay. which is close to $150 million. And that's a bare boat PCB. We are intend to do HDI, multi-layer, high-density, interconnect, bare boat PCB. Okay. So that's another investment. And eventually, finally, uh, our uh, OSAT under Kane Semicon, which recently got approved for uh, you know 3,300 crore, plus the working capital, we are looking at somewhere around 4,500 crore. That's about 400 million? 400, 400 to 450 million. Okay. Uh, that's the expansion that is uh, happening. And where, where is that? So uh, we got that approved uh, by the Ministry of IT to put that in Gujarat in Sanand. Okay. We also did a joint venture for our railway division with a company called Frosher, where we will do some railway devices. That's okay. a joint venture. In the next few weeks, you would see few more acquisitions that Keynes will do in uh, North America and Canada. So there is a growth all around. And acquisitions of what? Uh, in technologies or companies delivering technology? or Primarily in companies delivering technology. Okay. And, and this is for Keynes Semicon? This is for Keynes Technology. Keynes for Technology. Primarily for EMS. Okay. This is under the vision okay. of uh, getting into a billion dollar revenue in five years, for which okay. the year one was last year. And specifically for Keynes Semicon then, uh, What's the focus for Kane Semicon? So Kane Semicon uh, is, a, is a $450 million project in Gujarat, the place called Sanand, yes. which is now becoming a hub for semiconductor manufacturing. Well, yeah, in all India. the other fabs are All the other fabs yeah. are there. There is a substrate company from Korea that is coming there, and the ecosystem of gases, chemicals are getting built over okay. there. Now, we talk about the ecosystem, but first of all, your fa that facility, what's that going to do? I mean, Thanks, Nathan. So, uh, you know, while there was a lot of buzz that uh, Keynes Semicon OSAC project is being approved, uh, you know, the buzz started somewhere around March time frame, mm. uh, while the election code of conduct came in, it gave us a little bit of a time to put, to look at our plan a little bit more deeper. Okay. So we put together a 100-day plan before the approval and after the approval, yeah. which meant that, uh, you know, we could look at the civil drawing architect, we could look at uh, you know the construction part of it. We put down a master plan. We put down a plan for all the buildings. We looked at all the equipment that we should uh, we should buy. We negotiated with vendors. We looked at the raw materials that we should get, and all those stuff we completed in the last hundred days. Yeah. We also continue to talk to a couple of customers, while the customers saw that you know when we went to Telangana, Hyderabad and built that factory in a record eight months, six to eight months, there is a belief in the investor community, there is a belief in the customer that, you know, when Keynes gets into it, they will do it. Keeping that in mind, we signed up with one customer called Lightspeed Photonics. Mm -hmm. These guys are in the silicon photonics domain, mm -hmm. and very soon we will be doing their uh, sample production Currently, we'll do at the place in Singapore where we are buying those equipments and slowly bring the equipments to India and start doing manufacturing. Other than that, there are a few other semiconductor companies which I'm not allowed to talk under an NDA for the next couple of weeks, and we'll announce that. And they are the guys who will give us wafers, primarily in the TO package kind of a domain, okay. which will go to power and automotive and industrial. And those are the customers that we would work with. And I can very proudly say that, uh, you know, our capacity for the next two years, uh, we already have customers lined in. Okay, and, and that's been part of your plan all the time, to build, build that uh, customer pipeline. Absolutely. That is also uh, servicing a lot of uh, the automotive, sorry, optics, uh, automotive and industrial modules. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, assembly and production. Absolutely. absolutely. So those are the three areas when we sat down with our team and then wrote the business plan. 
uh, primarily because automotive, uh, you know, you need a you need a fallback before you do because automotive looks for a larger qualification time, yeah. right? Long and term. Long term. Yeah. So when you get qualified, you stay. The customer stays put with you. Yeah. So parallelly, we looked at the industrial. We looked at the, uh, the the HPC, the data center, and the server. You know, those are the areas that we are working. Hence, co-package optics becomes very, very critical and crucial. You know, we have invested in a company called Mixtech, yeah. and we are working with them very closely. Um, matter of fact, you know, Dave Forrester, we had the first board meeting with them, and it looks very promising. The kind of uh, the kind of people that they have hired, the kind of development activity that they are going, uh, the kind of uh, partnership that they are forging with foundries and stuff like that. So they are on a path. Okay. And, uh, and you know, while they're doing the chip design, uh, they're also working with us to help us to do the process design, look at equipments and the co-package optics and, and stuff like okay. that. And in the industrial, I've been talking about, uh, you know, the, the brushless DC motor controller areas. Um, we have looked at uh, certain microcontrollers in that space that we will work with in India. Okay, so um, I, I mean, it's all great. There's lots of activity going. What's your vision, and what do you want Kane Semicon to be known for uh, over the next 12 months? Yes. So you know, uh, there is a buzz around. Everybody says that uh, you know I'm the number one, and he's the number one, and stuff like that. So we are not going to get into that. Uh, yeah. Uh, get into that race. Uh, what we want to do is that uh, we are a subsidiary for Keynes Technology. Uh, all this while, it's all expenses. Uh, I have to very soon get into a phase that I start booking certain revenues. Eventually, uh, my goal in the next uh, two to three years to, is to become at least 25% of the revenue of, uh, of Keynes Technology. I know two to three is a little ambitious target. Mm. If I'm able to get in, in the next four to five years, I'll be really contented and happy with that, what happens is that Keynes technology will get into a, a billion dollar mark. Okay. So that's the whole goal. And then eventually, you know, uh, build a set of people and team. Uh, you know, Keynes technology is more like a family. Uh, mm. You know, uh, people working there, have been always working for the last 25 to 30 years. Mm. You know, there, are, there is a leadership team who's with Ramesh Kannan, so for the last 20, 30 years. So we want to build that pedigree within Keynes Semicon get in those people, uh, the, the generation who had wished in their lifetime to put a semiconductor manufacturing plant, the current generation who's coming up and want to work in a semiconductor manufacturing plant, we're bringing and amalgamating those sure. two generations and, and build, a, build a life and a factory for them. And, and in terms of processes and technologies, what, what are the things that you, know, you will say, well, this is, we can do that? Absolutely. There are two schools of thoughts here. Yeah. You know, uh, while you know, I keep talking to industry leaders, uh, some folks have told me that you should directly jump into advanced technology. Why do you want to, why do you want to go through the entire hoop? There are other set of folks who have told me, you know, you should crawl before you walk yeah. and stuff like that. So what we did is that, you know, we, we mixed the two of it and we put a plan in place, mm. which would mean that, uh, uh, and it all means that, you know, who's the first customer that would come. Yeah. And we believe that the customer that we are getting, the customer that is signing with us, is more in two areas. I talked about the light speed photonics, yeah. which is primarily in the advanced technology. i am also talked about the TO2 packages, which is more in the power domain, more in the automotive industrial. So, and the TO package is more in the wire bond technology, which is less complex. Okay. So you can see that, uh, you know, we are moving ahead with these technologies as we move. Now, we have partners like AOI, we have partners like Globetronics, we have partners like Aptos Tech, who will help us to bring these technologies, maybe 2 and 3D, uh, chiplets, RDL, copper to copper bump, is a little far away. Yeah. While we will do, we will learn by doing these uh, wire bonded technology, parallel we are putting a plan with, we have, we have a strong research and development team, we have a good engineering team that we are building because we will not just be doing OSAT. We, we have built a ATE business. We are bringing people who will do automated test services okay. to customers. You know, that would mean that it will be, be a wafer level test, it will be a package level test, it will be a system level test. So R&D, engineering via ATE, and we within Kane Semicon would also do 
a module level business. Okay. Which would mean that, uh, you know, when we go to a customer, when we start talking to a customer, we offer to a customer an overall solution. There are challenges because customer wants to put their semiconductor into a board and give us a total solution to their end customers. So yeah. we're going to do module. We already started that doing that with few customers. Okay. I put a system design team within within Kane Semicon because that is required. When we when I go to a customer and talk about semiconductor package, I need to have a package design team. Right. I need to have team who do my load board, who do my probe card, who will do my test board, who will do reference board. So we're building all this okay. as we speak. Well, Raghu, thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Ritit.